All right, guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, today we're going to pick up a 2012 BMW 320D automatic that I've just agreed to buy from a trader friend of mine. I got a call from him this morning offering me this car, and apparently it just arrived in part exchange at a local main dealer. As he was telling me about it, I was expecting the price to be around £5,000 trade with a retail price of around seven. That's just what I expected it to be. You see, after years of doing this job, I'm quite good at valuing stuff off the top of my head. Then I'm always quite pleased when I get back to the office and I check it on Glasses Guide or CAP just to see whether I was right or not. And usually, I'm not blowing my own trumpet, but usually I am. It's like my own little sad version of Popmaster. I enjoy it. I've got to do something to keep me entertained, haven't I? Anyway, with this 320D, I was wrong. All I'm paying for this car is £3,300. 3300 quid. Just seems like an awful lot of car for the money, doesn't it? I couldn't quite believe it. I mean, don't forget, this is a 2012, so it's the first of the newer shape. This is the F30 model. So, it just seems like great value. Anyway, let's go and have a look, shall we? See what I've bought. Well, we're here. That looks all right, you know. I still think that looks like a bargain. That looks like a five grand car all day long. Hmm, quite like the wheel design. Silver's a bit dull, isn't it? It's a bit boring, but... I suppose it isn't offensive, is it? It's an everyman. Every man car in an every man colour. That looks pretty good. I was told that it needs a little bit of paint or some careful touch-ins. The wheels are a little bit curved, but they're not too bad. Yeah, there's a little bit of paint required on the front bumper. I think I could carefully touch that in though, you know. That looks all right. It's from London originally with its LM plate. It's got its original plates actually, Williams. Right, as always then, let me do a vehicle history check using Car Vertical. Now it's really easy to do this. All you do is go to carvertical.com. This will tell us whether it's ever been stolen, written off, had a mileage rollback, or has outstanding finance on it. All you need to do then is type in the reg or the VIN. In this case, we know the reg is Lima Mike 12, Yankee Mike Delta. Check vehicle. Now what's good about this is that it checks databases in 35 different countries, and it checks hundreds of millions of cars. If it's been involved in an accident in another country, this will tell us. And sometimes it even shows you photographs of the damage. And I can't think of another single report that does that. If you want to do these checks for yourself, and I urge you to do so before you hand over any cash for a used car or motorbike, then use my promo code HIGHPEAK, that's HIGHPEAK, all one word, and you'll save yourself 20% off each and every check that you do. Now the spec on this, it isn't an SE or an M Sport, it's called something like an efficient dynamic model. So, I think I need to shave my beard later, I feel like Zach Galifianakis. Right, report is ready. View report. So it's never been clocked. There's no outstanding finance. It's never been in a recorded accident. And it's never been stolen. Perfect. Now the mileage, I was told it had done 127 or 128,000 miles, which I thought was high initially, but it's a 12 year old car now, isn't it? So 10,000 a year, it's bang on average, really. It was MOT'd in October, start, stop. It was MOT'd in October last year at 126,800. And it's fairly consistent every single year. Mm, the majority of this car's miles happen in the first three years. So it's probably a rep car or a businessman's car or something like that. It had done 60k by the time it was three. So this is a 320 diesel automatic sedan for the Europe market. And then we've got the timeline here. So it was first manufactured, first registered in May 12. Let's check its last MOT then. So it failed an MOT. Right. Well, well, that's good news then, I think, isn't it? I was told that it drives well too, but I shall be the judge of that. Thank you. It's quite a nice day out here today. The sun's out. It's about 12 degrees. First bit of good news, we've got both sets of keys. Uno y dos. Vamos a ver. It does look quite tidy, that, doesn't it? I do like the wheel design. Although they are a little bit chewed. And my lace is undone. Terrific. What can I tell you then? Well, down the body, it looks quite straight. I can't see any, any bog filler or anything like that. Panel gaps look good. Tires then. We've got a Nexon on the back, which looks quite good. That's, um, it looks quite good, but it's on about three mil. And this is a rear wheel drive car. Okay. On the front then, we've got a, a Mazzini. Mazzini. Isn't he an Italian footballer? That is about three mil as well. Hmm. Could get away with those tyres, I suppose, but that only last six months. So the paint that requires touching in is down here. It's grazed, so it has had a 
the previous repair here. Now I need to be careful with this because if it's only worth five grand retail, I've paid three, three. Oh, look at that. You see the overspray on that headlamp? Somebody, somebody has painted that themselves on the driveway. What an idiot. Why did it, why do people bother? Why not mask it up properly? Or just pop out these bits as I would have done. Back when I was starting out, when I was, you know, working on my own cars myself, I would always try and do things properly. Otherwise you just look, well, you're left with a mess like this, overspray everywhere. I'm gonna have to get some thinners on that answer and try and tidy it up. What a clown. Anyway, have we got another Mazzini here? Um, no, we don't. We've got a Sumitomo on about four and a half mil, five mil. That's not too bad, but they don't match, which I don't like. Then on the back, we've got, does it, is it an accent to match it? No, this is a Sunful. <laughs> a Sunful, right. Sunful. And that is on, it's on about five mil actually. It's quite a decent tire, but we've got four odd tires on a BMW like this. Why do people do this? Four odd tires. And we've got more overspray here. Can you see the overspray there? Silver overspray and some very flat paint here. What's happened here, I think, I don't know if you can see this, but there are a couple of tiny little chips. So I think rather than carefully touch them in like any sane person would do, somebody just got a aerosol tin and daubed the whole thing. <laughs> what an imbecile. Right, we don't have matching plates either. The rear one says fleet line. MK7, that's Milton Keynes, I think, isn't it? So the front is its original Williams plate and the back is not. Hmm. Got loads of flies here as well. Rear parking sensors, right, I'm losing interest in this car now, Tad, with its four odd tyres and its do-it-yourself respray. Still, it is cheap, isn't it? I suppose if I smarten it up as best I can without going overboard, it might retain some profit, mightn't it? Let's have a look inside then, shall we? All right, this key is not, not working. Ah, that one does. So in, oh, that's worrying, isn't it? We've got a bottle there of, dare I touch it? It isn't Highland Spring, that. I'm praying that's, that's a Barocca mixed with water, but I've got, a, <laughs> I've got a sneaky feeling that's, um, somebody's been caught short there. Hmm. It's very luminous, that, isn't it? They might have been to Chernobyl or somewhere. Right, it's crying out for a set of mats. There's a bit of wear there on the uh, centre armrest. It's all right, this car, isn't it? It's not the nicest thing I've ever bought, but it's all right. Back's quite clean, though. I suppose it's just your, it's just your average 12-year-old car, isn't it, this? Hasn't been lavish with money, I don't think. It won't have a spare, because it's a BM. We do have a uh, full toolkit there and locking wheel nut. Oh, and we've found, look at this. Found a penny. I think someone spent a penny up front, which is the worrying thing. Ah, oh dear. Should have a look under bonnet. T two yanks. Oh, twin power turbo, which People keep telling me in the comments, isn't it? It's not a twin turbo, Matt. It's a twin scroll turbo. Stop getting BMWs wrong. It's a single turbo, but it's a twin scroll. So there you go. Trolls. Nothing to see here, really, is that everyone's covered in plastic. I don't know whether this era of BM suffers with, um, or suffered with timing chain issues. I know the earlier ones did. I would hope by the time they got to this F30 model they'd uh, fixed all that, but who knows, probably not. What else can I tell you? Oh, history. Service history. Let's have a look for that. Down here then we've got a little soap dish tray. That's handy for your soap. Under it is a cup holder or two. In here we've got, that's a poor design. An ashtray, which isn't an ashtray, because that was an optional extra. 
in here we've got an auxiliary and uh, USB. Ah, we do have some history here then, I think, do we? Yeah, it had been described to me as having, and I quote, some service history. Uh, it's been to BMW there once. 2016. I imagine for its first three years, when it was a, a rep mobile, it will have had decent history. Then it's fallen into uh, other hands and they've probably just neglected it, as is often the case. Sorry if this isn't riveting for you. Oh, we've got more, we've got more history. Happy days. Oh, okay, right, so it had a service at 110, a minor service, and an offside rear shock and pads and sensors. 600 quid, that was in 2020. Oh, then it had another service, a full service, at 126,000 miles. And I think it's done 127, so that was done in September last year. So I don't, then, I don't need to do a full service, do I, because it's had one. Mm. Now, if this, if this were my own car, you know, not one that I'd bought for stock, but my own car that I was going to keep. I'd give it a full service, gearbox service, put four brand new Pirelli Scorpions on it, because I'm an idiot, and probably go to BMW and spend £100 on some genuine mats. But it's one that I'm going to sell for profit, hopefully. So I need to I need to box clever with this one, really. It's had a full service a thousand miles ago, so I don't need to do that. So I'll get my mechanic just to, well, I could do it, just check the levels and check it over and make sure it's all all right. Run it through a fresh MOT, make sure there are no advisory items. The tyres, uh, they're all all right, but they're all odd, which I don't like. But uh, do I want to spend 600 quid on a full set of decent tyres? I don't really. Let's fire her up. We'll close my door there with the... Uh... I don't even want to think about that. Right, how do we start this? Push. Right, we're on fuel reserve. It sounded all right, there was no sort of chain chatter on startup. We're in eco pro mode. Um, we've got 38 miles range, it's done 128, 286. It's 13 degrees, we've got an amber warning there for something. Three red, they look like uh, bowling pins, don't they? But I think that's supposed to represent humans. It's on capital FM. Yeah, it's very good. I would say my air conditioning works. That's all right, isn't it? Very good. What else can I tell you about it? That's pretty much it, isn't it? As cars go then, this is a bit of a mixed bag, isn't it? Can't really think of another way of describing it. In here we've got, that's worrying, isn't it? We've got the mechanics business card there, or two of. I suppose it's a good place to keep it, isn't it? Right, should we get this um, show on the road? Should we go and drive it and see how it performs? Make sure it doesn't bellow out a load of black smoke and make sure it drives in a straight line and brakes and all that sort of stuff. Make sure it's got a gearbox that changes gear. Let's go. Right, and we're away then. Select drive. There was no thud. Seems all right, this. It's very early days in this test drive though, isn't it? There's a little bit of what I would describe as a, as a belt noise. So I'll have to get that looked at. It feels quite solid over the bumps. I mean, to say it's done 128,000 miles and it's 12 years old, it is in reasonable nick. Pulls all right. It'd be nicer if it was a 330D, wouldn't it? But then I suppose it wouldn't have been 3,300 quid. My steering's off. It isn't pulling, but yeah, steering's off. So that wants, well, it wants the tracking and wheel alignment sorting, or something might be bent track or end or something, I don't know. You know, just say these things and throw these words at you, hoping that you think that I know what I'm talking about. I think it works. Yeah, steering's definitely off. Even I can tell that. Don't like my headrest. Oh, S-Class, that's nice. Um, what else can I tell you? Well, uh, we've got no warning lights on, that's good. So far the gearbox is working all right. It's a dull car, this. It's quite a boring thing, but it's, it's all right. It's all right. Do my windows work? Ooh, nearly lost my camera there. One, two, three, four. Now in terms of interior spec, uh, there isn't any. It's equipped with lots of blank buttons. We've got a blank button there, where my powerful mirror would normally go. We've got some blank buttons here, where my heated seat buttons would normally go. 
We've got cloth interior, not leather. Uh, we've got the small screen, not the big. We've got no sat-nav. We do have cruise, though. So it's not like an old ES back in the olden days where you just get no uh, multifunction steering wheel. It's all right, this, isn't it? It's all right. A bit abrupt. Handles all right, I suppose. I mean, I've not tested it to its limits, have I? I've done 28 miles an hour through the village of Romley, but, I mean, it doesn't crash or knock or bang or rattle. What a boring car. It's taking all my energy here just to stay awake. Um, what should we do with this then? I need to run it to my mechanics, don't I? Sort out this crooked steering, get her to check it over for me. Fresh MOT, order some mats for it, some tailored mats from eBay, that cost me 20 quid, I suppose. Some plates, another 15 quid. What shall I set my budget at? Let me set my budget at 500 quid, 500 pounds. So this will owe me three eight done, and I think it's 4995 retail. So it should leave me a profit of 1200 quid, which isn't bad business, is it really? It's even got manual seats, I hate manual seats. Especially in a BM, because then when you're trying to adjust it, this happens, watch. Right, anyway. Should we do a performance test before we go? You ready for this? We're not really up to temp, but who cares? Oh, yes. Well, there's no black smoke. That's, that pulls pretty well, actually. What will this be? The olden ones, or the olden ones, the old models were 190 horsepower, I think. Imagine this will be the same. They might have tweaked it slightly. Yeah, it drives all right, this. It drives all right. And I suppose for its money, what do you want? It's all right, isn't it? If you needed a cheap commuter vehicle, this would do, wouldn't it? Shame it's not an estate, though, because that would have been much more practical. Somebody who had dogs or whatever. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, fuel, don't worry. It's not my engine light, it's just my low fuel. In terms of fuel, then, I don't know what, well, I don't know what this is doing, but its average is 35 miles per gallon. I imagine on a motorway run, if you're going steady, this will do 55, 60. Which is why people buy these, I guess. Hmm. Right, leave this with me. Give me give me a week and I'll have this tarted up. See you in a bit. And we're back in the cheap BMW 320D and it's finally all prepared and ready for sale. Now this might come as a shock to many of you, but I did get a little bit carried away with it. I have overspent a tad. Not massively, but more than I'd hoped. I think at the start of this video, I'd give myself a budget of 500 quid. That turned out to be a little bit optimistic, I'll be honest. Remember how it had four odd tyres? I couldn't really, I just couldn't live with myself. I couldn't sell a car like that with four odd tyres. So, I put four brand new matching tyres on. Granted, they're not Pirellis or anything. I think they're Westlakes, actually. Don't judge. But they're all brand new and they're all matching at all corners. So, you know, I think I've done my job. I could have gone completely mad and put some proper branded tyres on, but shown a little bit of restraint. Now, while we're talking about the wheels and the tyres, have a look at the wheels. I've had them refurbished. They were looking a little bit dowdy, and now they look as good as new. Luke, once again, has done a really good job. I'm quite pleased that I had them done. I almost didn't bother doing the wheels on this, but I'd booked in a Kia Sportage with him. Now, Luke comes out in a van and does the mobile, and he said, to make it worth my while, have you got another set for me? So I was looking around the forecourt thinking, what really needs doing? Anyway, I saw this and I thought, I should get those done, so I did. Yes, it's another £180 down the drain, but I think it'll help sell it. And I haven't bothered doing the bodywork, so I thought at least if the wheels are nice and fresh, it just lifts it. Speaking of the car's image being lifted, I've also changed the reg plates, fitted those myself. And as always, those fresh plates instantly lifted it. It just looks a whole lot tidier. Now, I didn't bother doing a service because it only had one, a full service, about 2,000 miles ago, so I didn't bother. But I did put a fresh MOT on it. So it's now got 12 months MOT with not a single advisor item. But it did need, what did it need? Rear brake discs and pads, I think. They were a bit ropey, so I had those replaced. What else did I get done? I think that was about it, you know. Uh, oh, and the valet. It needed a valet, it was quite grubby. So the lads at Tameside Detailing have cleaned it all up for me. And it now is all ready for its new owner. Speaking of new owners, I've got an appointment on this tomorrow, so I'm hoping it sells. I've got it advertised for 4995, which I'm hoping one, will get the money back in the bank so I can spend it again. But two, I'm hoping there's some profit in it. How much profit? Your guess is as good as mine. In fact, no, let's do it properly. Let me park up somewhere pretty and I'll talk you through all of my costs.
Oh, I nearly forgot, I've had the tracking done as well. If you remember, it was pulling to the left, or the right, or whichever way. It wasn't bang on centre, so I've had that done. And now it's true and straight. I've got a speed warning there. I don't know how you set that. It must be something to do with the cruise, wasn't it? Anyway, I'll fiddle around with that when I'm not driving. It's quite a nice, decent car, this now, you know. And for 4995, I do think it's an awful lot of car for the money. Very moody day up here today. Very dramatic. Right then, here we'll do. May as well knock the old engine off, hadn't we, I suppose? Very loud, aggressive door locks. So, I paid £3,300 for the car. Let me work this out, actually. Calculator. 3300 My bill at my mechanics was... So, rear brake pads, £35. Rear brake discs, £78. Uh, tracking, four tyres, £260 for four. Cheap, aren't they? Uh, what else? MOT test V and labour. So, my total there was £557.12. In addition to that, we've got £15 for some new number plates. We've got £70 for a valet. We've got £180 for the wheel refurb, which takes my total to £4,122.12. So, if I get my 4995 for it, I'll have made £878. Which isn't bad, really, is it, from a, you know, from a four grand outlay? I'd be quite happy with that, really. And there's some VAT to claim back and all that sort of stuff, so that will offset my, my VAT liability. So... Boys and girls, I think that's about it. Make sure I don't write it off now. I'm going to go and take it back to work, clean it all off, and then wait for my appointment tomorrow. Wish me luck with the sale. Right, so well, thank you once again for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done already. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'll leave a link below. And yeah, cheers, guys. See you later.